Hello and welcome to episode 98 of my Working With Todoist series. In today's episode, I've got a special treat for you and I have an offer that you can take advantage of. And today I'm going to show you how I link up one of my favorite utility applications with Todoist. It's an application I've been using for a number of years now. I, I can't rem I was trying to find out how long I've had it on my phone. And I must have had it on my phone for about three or four years at least. And the application I'm talking about is an application called ScanBot. Now, the fantastic thing about this one is that the guys over at ScanBot, ScanBot have reached out to me and they're willing to offer you a 40% discount off their premium uh, application services so that you can take full advantage of the link up to Todoist and uh, this offer is going to be available until the, I, let me just double check, uh, it's going to be available until the 6th of March. So if you're watching this sometime in the future, that's the 6th of March 2017, uh, I'm sorry you missed out. But for those of you guys who are watching this video right now within this period, and you've essentially got two weeks to redeem this voucher, and I should point out that you will need to have downloaded the free version of ScanBot first. Now, I've not been using the free version, for, I don't think I ever have. I remember seeing ScanBot being recommended by uh, one of my uh, blogs that I read and I immediately downloaded it because it, was, it looked such an amazing app and it really is an amazing app. And so today what I wanted to do to show you how this works and I was thinking about how, do, I mean, I use it for taking uh, pictures or scans of contracts and sometimes receipts, particularly receipts if I bought a new iPad or I bought a new laptop or something, I will take a scan of those receipts because who knows what might happen in the 12 months and you know receipts get lost, they get disappear. So I always have a scan of this and ScanBot has always been my go-to application for scanning in these documents. So today I called in at Starbucks on my way down here to the office and I've picked up the receipt so I can show you how this works with uh, Todoist. And essentially what we're doing is we, we take a scan or a picture of the receipt and then what we do is we click on the button to export it into Todoist. And I'll show you from my phone how this works because it'll be a much better way and then you can decide how you want to use this. Now I should point out that until Recently, when the Todoist link up came, I always use ScanBot connected to my Evernote. Now, one of the things that the downsides for me, anyway, with my personal productivity system, is that in Todoist is something I check every day. I do my daily mini review at the end of the day. So if something is urgent, it needs to go to Todoist. And what I've had to do in the past is I've had to scan the document that I want scanning into my Evernote, which is what I would have done, and then created a note to in Todoist to remind me to check the note that I created in Evernote because Evernote is something I only process once a week. So now I don't have to do that. Now I can just, anything that's loud and anything that's urgent and really, really needs sending in, I can just scan it straight into Todoist and I know that when I do my daily mini review at the end of the day, then it will be there. Okay, so let's show you how this works and then I'll show you how it comes into Todoist. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are with my iPhone and as you can see, I've got uh, on my front screen, but because ScanBot's not something I'm using every day, but it is something that I do use on a regular basis. So I have a utilities folder here and ScanBot is right there. So let's open up ScanBot. So there we have my ScanBot. Now, I, I have been practicing with it this morning, so normally it would actually open up on the taking the scan um, window. But all we have to do is click on the plus straight there. Here's my Starbucks receipt full of Korean. So just forgive me a moment while I get this uh, lined up. You're not gonna see this very well, I'm afraid. There we go. So now we've taken this picture of that and look at that. You can see all the writing and I know you can all read that very clearly. Yes? Well, no, maybe not because it is actually Korean and maybe a lot of you don't actually read Korean. But okay, now we've got the scan into uh, ScanBot. We have a number of options here, but the first thing we need to do obviously is save it. So let's give it saved. Once you click on save, I've got this set up now so that this can be uploaded to Todoist inbox immediately. So all I have to do is click on that and it's going to ask me to add some text. So I'm going to put in uh, Starbucks 
uh, receipt. There we go. Uh, and then I can put in uh, the date. It's not going to work because I don't have my. Um, <laughs> I just realized I don't actually have Text Expander set up for this one. So, anyway, let's just send that one up though, there. So, upload to inbox, bang, and it's gone. Now, it'll take a few minutes, of course, to actually arrive in my inbox, but I don't really care. I know that it's going to arrive in my inbox at some point during the day and then we can just move straight from there so another way that you can do this and i really like this is uh, if you click on this this is um sorry that's the one i've just done but here's one that i took a while ago which is uh, this is my uh, a note from my notebook <clears throat> and i just wanted to show you another way that you can do this i can actually click on send to again here and if i send share that just brings up my share sheet my share sheet and I can send this to pretty much anywhere I like. Uh, I can send it to Evernote. I can send it through Newton Mail. I can add it to a Notes app, Messages or anything. So I have pretty much a lot of options open to me there if I just use the share sheet. But there you go. That's how it generally works. And it's so fast, so clear. You can alter the dimensions. There's so many things that you can do. And I would recommend that you download the free version at least to start with. Have a play around with it. And if you do like it, which I'm sure you will, then we, you can move on and take advantage of the coupon code that I have in the notes section below. OK, so let's go back into the computer now and I'll show you how this looks when it comes into Todoist. OK, so now that we're back into Todoist, what you see is I've got three here. Now, I've actually left one in because this was one I did earlier, actually, because I wanted to show you that if you're in a really big rush, then what you can do is you don't actually have to type anything into the note section. You can just click save and it will go straight into your inbox and just say ScanBot 19th of February uh, 2017. And when you click on that, you have your PDF file, which will open up in Todoist. Uh, like this bang it's a <laughs> huge sized one um, and then you can just drag it off and you can save it wherever you want to save it if you're using Safari like I am you can just download it directly from there it's really really that simple but I do love the way that this is stored in Todoist it's really very fast so this was the scan from my notebook again I can click on that it'll take me to the uh, Safari to open up in Safari um, there is all my original notes and it's very 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 clear so <clears throat> this is what I really wanted to show you it's it's an absolutely fantastic app it's an application that I've been using as I say for many years now uh, it's one of those ones that you know if you ever get a new phone it's one of those on that must download immediately lists and it is something that I'm using, um, I wouldn't say every single day, but at least once or twice a week that I use. And now that it's available to be sent directly to, to, uh, into uh, Todoist, that means that I have an option now where anything that's urgent, I can send it straight there. Likewise, though, as I say, a lot of the documents I would use ScanBot with goes directly to my Evernote and it works very well, just as well, actually, with that one. And actually, to be perfectly honest, because I know some of you are going to be thinking this already, doesn't Evernote already have its own scanner? It does and it is pretty good. But I've always found that, well, I've always used ScanBot, but I've always found ScanBot is that just that little bit better, but that's maybe just my own personal preference. So that's really all I wanted to show you today. The wonderful guys over at ScanBot has offered a special code for all you guys. I must remind you all, if you do want to take advantage of the promo code, please download the free version of ScanBot for iOS or Android first and then you can redeem the code and I'll put the directions for that in the notes section below and you can get 40% off up until the, I think it's the 6th of March. Well, certainly two weeks from the date of publication of this video. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. Just before I go, please guys don't forget, uh, if you want to learn more about Todoist and you want to get in a more leisurely pace than my book working with Todoist the book is available on Amazon iBookstore and direct from my website so please if you if you really want to master uh, Todoist please please uh, take some time and buy a copy of that book it really would appreciate that and um, for the rest of it 
All I wish you all now is a very, very productive week.